I V M. Okay, Urjita yeah. is yawning, which means it's time to wrap up no. the show. <laughs> That was our episode this week. Ah. <laughs> uh, I've, Thank you. I've closed all the windows and that's why there's no air in. Are my mummy? Ha, theo na mazla theo. Episode kya hai? Mummy, episode kya hai? Aishita's mom. That's adorable. Hello. Please keep this in. Ladki kyu na jaane kyu? Podcast si nahi hoti. Hi guys. <laughs> Wow, you brought. You know what? This version. That song. That's what. That's what. This was version. Funny, right? Because he did it with that. Oh, like, ladki kyu? <laughs> See, look at the wording. ये बोल ये भी हो सकता था लड़की क्यों न जाने क्यों podcast से नहीं मिलती but नहीं इसको हो के बोलना था. Why did you have to drag biology into this subbar? <laughs> That oh, song was oh, from man. the 2004 film Ham Tum, starring Saif Ali Khan and Rani Mukherjee, directed by Kunal Kohli, which is the mm-hmm. episode we are discussing today. And in case you are wondering, oh my God, their backgrounds are different; they are in different places. Is because <laughs> this week, because of some uh, technical issues, we could not uh, record in our IVM studios. What happened, and how long we'll be doing this? Uh, for that, you need to listen to this other show that Cyrus does on Cyrus says uh, the Friday episode. He actually breaks down what exactly happened because of which we are not able to record in the studio. But uh, the show must go on, as said Raj Kapoor, I think. Uh, so, with me, not in the studio, but joining joining us from her lavish house in Kalyan with a grand piano, is my co-host Urjit Awani. <laughs> What Ooh, are you resting your hand? <laughs> this is totally not a fake background. <laughs> yeah, wow. Kalyan has progressed. It's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's the only place. It's the only place in Bombay you can have things like this. I feel like. Yeah. Kalyan is not. But Bombay no, even like. Ka- <laughs> Come on. <laughs> You Sorry. know, you know, on any other day I would have fought with you, but मुझे एक पुणे के बस ड्राइवर ने स्कूल किया था on the same. I was asking कि मुंबई जाने वाला बस कब आएगा? मुंबई जाने वाला बस कब आएगा? I was asking the bus driver, and he said कि मुंबई जाने वाला बस तो टाइम है उसको टाइम है. And then then he was like, आपको कहाँ पे जाना है मुंबई में? मैंने कहा कल्याण में. And then he was like, कल्याण मुंबई में नहीं आता. <laughs> oh, there you go. Uh, also oh, joining man. us from her house in Khar, sitting on her uh, g- g- her king size, queen size bed, is Nivedita Prakash. Am I Nivedita? <laughs> yeah, I, I also could have put that background, but I, I don't think I have it on my. <laughs> nice. I don't have so the luxury guys, of it, but yeah, yeah. So, um, Ham Tum 2004, guys, did you know that? Boys and girls, men and women are different, guys. Did you did you know that? <laughs> did you know that? Dunya me bas do hi to gender hota hai yaar, ladka aur ladki. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I'm Hamtum. glad we're all on the same page because that's what even I thought when I first saw this. I was like, what a hetero movie <laughs> this is. No, so this so is a I... dialogue from the movie. Ki dunya ke do genders, ladka aur ladki. That is how it starts. <laughs> yeah. So I have such I have so much to uh, break break down on this episode. So this movie was a huge deal when it came out. But let me. So I I am very proud to like uh, uh, always whenever people ask me about the show, I am always proud to say that you know what we've never had an episode of Hazard Age well where all three people have had the same opinion. Okay, either at least one of them is against the other two. So I would just like to know uh, from both of you, Urjita and Nevedita, just tell me like. Are you are you more positive on this movie or more negative? <laughs> Urjita, you go first. <laughs> I'm actually oh, more positive okay. in the middle. Yeah, oh, really? kind of positive. Yeah, in the wow. like leaning towards positive, but in the middle, obviously, it's not exactly. Yeah, in the middle, like <laughs> there are the problematic aspects. Movie. It's one of those things yeah, where okay. you expected the movie to be here, but then just because it is here, so now you are like, okay, you're not that bad, which is also oh, what really? Rani Mukherjee felt yeah. about Saif Ali Khan. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I don't think I've ever watched this movie. I think I watched it for the first time. Oh really? Time. 
now. Okay. Not even in what the childhood. I think I've watched it in bits and pieces. I think you know it used to come on TV a lot, so I think I've watched yeah. it in bits and pieces, but I've never watched the whole thing fully. I think yeah, this is the first time same, I've watched same. it. Yeah. I had watched you, it as you, a child, but uh, I don't. Yeah. Again, I think bits and pieces because I swear to God, I thought of it as a different movie altogether before watching it again same, now. Same. Same. So okay. I was like, I thought of it as a. Fifteen minutes. Ha, yeah, sorry. I thought of it as a good movie, <laughs> and then I rewatched it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, I have to say something, and I'll we'll get down to this. You know what I realized while watching this film? I think three films. Uh, I have almost like like uh, sort of fused in my brain as one movie. It's this one, uh, Love Actual, and uh, Salam Namaste. Uh, all <laughs> three safe films. For some reason, I feel like they've all merged into this one film. But, um, dude, ham tum. So let's start with you, Niv. Uh, f- you were watching it for the first time. Um, I remember this film was a huge deal when it came out, and we'll get to that. It won like all sorts of awards. But what was your experience like watching this? Now it's a 19-year-old film. It came out in 2004, almost 20 years old. H- how, what was what went through your mind when you were watching it for the first time? Now today or yesterday? I mean, I, I, first I thought it's not like you know what the thing is. Like I've said before, movies haven't really progressed that much anyway. So when you watch stuff like this, you're like, yeah, this is this is what we're doing even now. I mean, nothing has changed. Uh, but because we have progressed, there are moments when you're like, oh yeah, of course this is 2003. First of all, all the fashion and the makeup was so 90s. You can see that yes, it just yes. bled into the 2000s oh, really? for a while. Yeah, because so Rani Mukherjee's I... get up was so 90s throughout the film. Really? Okay. So you know what? Yeah. In my notes, I wrote that Saif Ali Khan's fashion sense has aged way more terribly than uh, uh, than Rani Mukherjee. I think Rani Mukherjee's costumes and makeup, and I'm I'm not the expert in this, but I feel like it still no. holds up as compared to but, Saif Ali Khan. Yeah, but the thing is, '90s fashion is back now. Like yeah. women are wearing similar clothes now again. Those stoles yeah. that she wore and all the outfits that she wore, all that is back in fashion. So it's like we've okay. come full circle. Yeah, and I feel like at some point she was wearing something that Nivedita is wearing right now. <laughs> I feel really? like she, yeah, yeah, with with these mm. pants. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> really? Nivedita, Nivedita oh. is wearing a shirt that I think Jimmy, Sh- I saw Jimmy Shergill wearing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, Jimmy okay, uh, Shergill was a really uh, nice character in the film, though. He was so weird. We'll get to that. So okay, so you <laughs> thought the makeup and uh, costume you thought were very dated. Uh, Rani's, what else? What, what Rani's the... was yeah. Okay. What about what did you think But about Saif's it. fashion sense? I'm from the nineties. What Saif about Saif's fashion sense? Saif's hair has not makeup? aged well at all. Even in the movie, <laughs> while we could see it, it wasn't aging. I could see that. Yar, ye budde ho raha hai uske baal. Yar, double door ko bhi cross kar diya hai. Inhone ye kya baat ho rahi hai? Like, do you remember that one scene where he is uh, uh, like in the first twenty minutes only? Wo coke mein French fries ko dubo ke kya raha hai? So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see the wig from here, man. I was like, yar, idhar ke matlab kya art department? At me, sorry, fashion style department kya chutti pe tha kya? What was happening? Why was nobody correcting this? Very bad. But they okay. made. Fu- I feel like they gave him that wig, and then they immediately knew they made a mistake because they kept uh, bringing it up in the movie. They kept saying, "What's wrong with your hair?" And he kept saying, <laughs> "Tom Cruise look." It's yeah. like it's they made a Tom mistake, Cruise but they were like, yeah. "We don't have time to fix this." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, Urjita, what did you what did you think when you watched it this time around? So uh, again, like uh, as I said, uh, the first twenty minutes of the movie, you feel like fucking this is going to be a train wreck. ये गंदी होने वाली है एंड देन लाइक इट सरप्राइजेस यू स्लाइटली लाइक द स्पेशली अभिषेक बच्चन अपीयर्स फॉर लाइक टू एंड हाफ मिनट्स आई काउंटेड उतने उतने टाइम में भी उसने क्या इंपैक्टफुल डायलॉग बोला है एंड आई मीन आई वाज लाइक दिस इज सच अ सो यू नो व्हेन यू हियर डायलॉग्स लाइक दैट यू आर लाइक ओके सो द राइटर नोज द राइटर नोज व्हाट इज राइट फिर तुम क्यों नहीं बोल रहे हो से द डायलॉग से द डायलॉग uh so i i'm i am paraphrasing but uh, he says that uh, uh, jo aurat uh, aurat ka jo uh, mard ka jo dil hota hai wo aurat ke dil se kai zyada kamzor hota hai aur uh, tumhe basically he is trying to say that you will grow we up need them more than them. they need us yeah yeah yeah, thing, yeah, right? yeah yeah we need we need them more than they need us so never forget that so he was trying to imply that uh, he, he was implying that listen buddy kitna bhi auraton ke piche ghoom le 
uh, but ultimately you will need to settle down and uh, but he did not say that you know you will need to settle down like in an uncle way he he hmm. basically yeah and then he yeah. dies yes. I thought, I, I thought, I thought, this is this is one of those things where i was like acha okay koi aur spoil it on her lo mujhe bata do ki yeah but he also says that other line about the bus right ye ladki ek bus ki tarah hoti hai piche piche mat bhago like thodi der rukogi to ek aur piche aa jayegi something of that sort saif ali khan says that not abhishek bachchan no no abhishek says that no yes. <laughs> Which was it so does. weird because I was like, why is he talking to Seth in the first place? Like it was such a random like conversation. He just noticed him talk to a girl and just bombarded him with this advice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, we'll take a quick break. When we come back, we'll break down the plot of the film and uh, what I think of the film, and I will see what uh, Urjita and Nivedita have to react. to what i have to say cool we'll take a quick break we'll be right after this uh, if you're watching us on youtube please uh, press the like button to subscribe to the channel and share this with someone who you think will enjoy it and we'll see you right after this hi this is cyrus rogan brocha they are say rogues uh, i've come up with a brand new idea it's a premium product called club cyrus says it's an offer open just for you let me tell you about the product we've got exclusive cock and bull episodes just for you that's right just for you that means others don't get to see it Also you get exclusive footage extra bits the uncut version of the interviews with celebrities and these are huge celebrities not small time celebrities only the big guys come on the show so you'll get the exclusive bits that nobody else gets the extra tidbits special stuff uncensored stuff stuff you don't want to put out that's just for you and for our audio listeners you get special ad free content and early access to interviews and sessions and the podcast which nobody else will get you'll get it first you're the first people you're Neil Armstrong Your Edmund Hillary, your whoever discovered India, you're that. And by becoming an exclusive member of Club Cyrus says, you get the power. We transfer the power to you, and you become the producers, and you will decide what content or what happens on that show. You are the masters, and we are your. We can't use words like that. People who work for the masters, basically. So, guys, get in. Special audio features include. Uh, I forget. I can't remember what the hell. <laughs> and we're back on Hazard Age Wealth with Urjita and Nivedita. Um, okay, guys. So I had fond memories of this film. Like I said, when it came out in 2004, it was like a big deal. Um, it was considered like a very youthful. Uh, it had a youthful vibe to it and all. When I revisited it yesterday. I was struggling to find something that I could like latch on to. Uh, it's a it's a very 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 pl- problematic film. So it's a loose remake of the film uh, When Harry Met Sally. Have either of you seen When Harry Met Sally? Yes. Okay, you've seen that. Um, essentially, the 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 plot of both the films is um, uh, a boy and a girl meet uh, when they are young, and they don't really get along because the guy is this flirtatious, playful guy. and the girl is the more grounded serious uh, person and then every few years they keep running into each other till they realize oh my god this is the person made for me all along and we should be together yeah. right and in the context of that they try and sort of um, break down what women should or what girls should be like what guys should be like so um when i watched it yesterday i was like why were why were we so crazy about this film because right off the bat right like oh my, like they've set up um saif's role who's played uh, whose name is karan as this guy who sleeps around and he just flirts with women i i thought that the filmmakers were obsessed with two films here one was dil chahta and the other was dil wale dulhen le jayenge they've almost kind of fused the two and like oh saif's yeah. going to have the same ener- vibe energy that he had in dil chahta hai but the outlook of romance is going to be very very traditional that oh you after everything you're still stick with one woman so Also, yeah, kal hona ho, kal hona ho. The part where he tries to set his, the love of his life with someone else. Sure. Yeah, I have a que- I have a lot of questions about when they try and set Jimmy Shergill up, but uh, <laughs> there is, of course, Kiran Kher is playing the Punjabi bomb. But uh, do you think this film? like is it important for a movie to set up characters who are like like current character is this way he's funny and he's flirtatious and he makes cartoons and uh, uh, rani mukherjee's character is like 
the more grounded the more serious there's this whole thing where she orders coffee with a specific amount of sugar and all of that or is that like a shorthand to to already uh, reinforce the clichés that we have about men and women what what cliche that women are supposed to be the more gentler uh, uh, sex they are supposed to be more uh, they 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 take things more seriously and the guy's job is to impress the girl yeah of course stereotypes se to bhari hai there is a reason why uh wo caricaturish to hai na thoda sa matlab wo pata hi re start hi aise kare ki do hi gender hai to of course these two genders will act according to their stereotypes so mm-hmm. wo to ek tha hi uh, but i feel like uh, saif ali khan was shown as uh, i mean immature only in the i think first the first half of the film but once his hair gets into cuts his falls hair. into place <laughs> <laughs> that is when he starts acting mature. I mean, that's what I feel. Does he though? Thoda thoda. I mean, hmm. I mean, overall, yeah, as he tries to be saying. mature, yeah, like yeah. he tries to be mature. He's like, he's like a definitely a better version of himself. Sure. No, that's yeah, just his yeah. personality in the movie. He's just that's who he is. He's yeah. just trying to be a little like even when they have children, he makes silly jokes and stuff. He's just that's his personality in the movie. Yeah. Um, but also, but I would like I'm, to mention that ये जितने भी सारे nineties के और यार early two thousands के movies हैं जिसमें वो fuck boy type character दिखाना होता था, as in like yes, the playboy. Yeah, again, fuck yeah, boy. Sorry, yeah. playboy is the right word for it. Playboy. Man, you. I feel like these directors have not met playboys. <laughs> In real life, none of these guys sound like actual playboys. ये ये पता नहीं मैंने ये version कभी नहीं देखा है ज़िंदगी में playboy. So, so then never. what would a, what would a, what would the average playboy sound like? They sound like really nice guys. जो okay. मतलब तो basically like Abhishek Bachchan in the movie. Yeah. That yeah, is yeah. what a playboy actually sounds like. He sounds like a nice guy who will take you home. मतलब who will who will as in talk to your mom and all. But पता चलेगा ये चीज वो हर वो पांच और औरतों के साथ कर रहा है. And usually the guy. So uh, I'm trying to say that the guy who is out there, who is talking to every other girl and who is trying to flirt with everyone, उसको real life में कोई he's not getting laid. Because every girl knows ये तो चंपक है. So that's right. yeah. Okay. That's mm. all I have seen. Okay. But but isn't isn't Seth essentially a fuck boy in this movie? I mean, they have not <laughs> shown him as a fuck boy. They have shown him as a play boy. A flirt. What's the difference? It's just he likes to flirt. flirt yeah. So, but 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 he yeah. but he keeps. Just I mean, like, at different at different points, whenever there's a there's a jump in time, he's always dating some other girl, right? And uh, even even in Paris, he's dating that white girl who who comes in and a- keeps asking for his uh, keeps asking for him at, in his house. So is isn't that isn't that the the like the mark of a fuck boy that oh, I'm going to sleep with as many women as I want? It's kind of like a more more modern for that time version of what Raj says in the DLG. Yeah, I guess they just didn't show it explicitly. Yeah, yeah. but they did. <laughs> I mean, yeah, they did. They, I mean, he. It was that was what it was meant to be at the time. I guess, like, right. It, it was a con- conservative age. Um, yeah. In India. Yeah. yeah this film. Like, this film shies away a lot. This film shies <laughs> away a lot from mentioning the word sex. You know, there is uh, there's one yeah. point where she says, "Ki tum." झाड़ के पीछे उसके साथ यू नो यू नो एंड देन इवन वेन इट टूवर्ड्स द एंड वेन दे एक्चुअली स्लीप टुगेदर देर इज जस्ट वन शॉट वेर दे शो अ शैक फ्रॉम द आउटसाइड एंड देन दे शो देम स्लीपिंग हाफ नेकेड विथ शीट्स ऑन देम एंड लाइक दैट वी हैव टू इन फॉर ओ माई गॉड दे हैथ सेक्स गाइज बट गाइज डोंट यू वेन या गो हेड ना आई वॉज गोन से दैट्स फाइन बिकॉज दैट्स वॉट मेड इट टॉलरेबल टू वॉच If you were in a theater with your whole family, you don't yeah. want to have to watch. And yeah, like Indians are not. I couldn't like, take on. it. <laughs> I couldn't take that romance. <laughs> But uh, what ding dong was playing with sex? Ko I noticed. Saif was calling. Really? Ding dong. Yeah, no, he's with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is right before she got. Ma- she right before she gets married no, to Abhishek. No, gets married. But. Yeah. But we got to agree that this is a very Indian thing. See, we might be in like a very urban place, but most places in India they do replace the word sex with some mm. other funny word because it is mm. still very it's still very hard to just say it 
Like it's yeah. so awkward for most people. This is yeah, just the Indian uh, movie. I mean, it's related. Forget to the show. urban setting. Even right now, like suppose, like if I had to ask Nivedita, like, did you have sex with some guy? I'm not going to say sex. Yeah. I will say so. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, what like, happened? so did, did it happen? What happened? Yeah, yeah. So did it happen? Exactly. हम खुद भी sex नहीं बोलेंगे यार. That's what I'm saying. It's it's just. I'm it's calling just, out it's, everyone. It's actually so much more fun to say other words. It just makes the conversation lighter in many ways. Did you bump bellies? So, did you? <laughs> and instead of words, bump it's even bellies? more fun to okay. use expression. <laughs> like 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 uh, like Abbas. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh! You can just be like, hmm, so that guy. Remember, remember that guy. What happened? What? Yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Nobody ever says yeah. Yeah. No or like, unless or you can use fingers. You're talking did about you? it like it's. Did you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Urjita. I think you'd rather say sex. No, no, no. But this. you know what? I want to. I yeah. want to add to this whole conversation and add some positive light to this movie, right? Uh, since it was okay. the first time, I was dude. Talking, I, I have I to say, I'm genuinely thinking. surprised. I'm genuinely surprised the both of you are not horrified about this, uh, like from this movie. I'll But tell you ahead. why. That's what I'm going to say. That's what I'm going to yeah. say now. Yeah. So there is a theoretical way of you know, um, this is how the world should be. It's idealistic how we expect mm. it to be. Right, but the world is not like that. It, in fact, mm. it's very much like this movie. I'll give you so many examples of things that happen in this movie that still, even today, happens in real life. For example, okay. Rani Mukherjee in the beginning when she meets him does not like this guy. He's manless. Mm. He's looked into her bag and everything. But women are very forgiving. Even now, you will see women go out with boys who they do not like initially, but you just they grow on them. over time and then you start liking this guy that's not good for you but you're just familiar with him now so you don't want to leave so now saiful ikan is a really good example of that he just kept turning up in her life and he was there so he was familiar and he became trustworthy for her but he wasn't necessarily a good guy so when he when she started and look you got to understand women have very few choices in their lives like i know men have Like most women are safe to be with, but for women, like there are very few men who are safe to be with. And Saif Ali Khan was what one of those guys. He was playful, but he was not. Was he, was he harmless. though? Yeah. Okay. Uh, my 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 playful. reading of that, my reading of that is he's he's clearly very like uh, overwhelming. Overwhelmingly, he acts like an asshole when they initially meet, and then yeah. the part where he reconnects with her and finds out that her husband has died. I don't know why, but I felt that was a little manipulative. That. you're trying to sort of you know because because you have this notion that oh this like he for me it in my head as like uh, rani mukherjee's character seems like the one conquest he could not uh, you know uh, do so then he just keeps chasing her year after year whenever no, he, but he like, kind of like how did this one get away in between so i i think he let her go and then they met like by chance in the train and when he met her he just thought He maybe he cared for her or something. He had a crush on her even before. Obviously, we all know that. So maybe this yeah. happens. Yeah. This happens in real life, but that's what I'm saying, right? In theory, it all seems so wrong. But I'm saying that the same thing would have. You wouldn't even think that you're doing that. Like, say, like a friend of yours had a tragedy happen in their lives. All right, you would want to comfort a them. Friend, somebody that you a knew. A friend is. A friend is a different thing, right? This is. These are two people who haven't connected for years. There's clearly a friction mm-hmm. there. and show sure, out of uh, like generosity or whatever you connect with them but i don't know like for me it was like okay saif ali khan treats her as this one the one that got away so he just wants to claim her come what may and 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 that, that's why in the climax also i feel like there is a bit of a thing we'll come to that where i'm like after they sleep together there's this awkwardness so what does what does that say about the both of them but we'll yeah, we'll come to that so hum to yeah. is a huh. is the textbook definition of uh, कितना टाइम लगा सकते हैं हम दो प्रेमियों को मिलाने के लिए कितना टाइम बर्बाद कर सकते हैं हम क्योंकि बाय द टाइम दे वांट टू फाइनली मीट कैन यू डू वांट टू गेस उनके एज क्या हो गया आई थिंक 10 साल तो बीत गए फ्रॉम द या या 30s या 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 कितना टाइम वेस्ट कर इट्स लाइक कि अच्छा एक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट आती है यू नो व्हाट लेट्स नॉट सी इच अदर फॉर टू मोर इयर्स एंड देन व्हेन बाय द टाइम वी मीट अगेन वी विल फॉरगेट अबाउट दैट कॉन्फ्लिक्ट It's. I feel like it's just that they are wasting too much time in like go partying. But, but again, 
you got to you got to you got to admit very realistic when two people are friends they're like mm, i don't want to like ruin this friendship so i'm just going to keep being friends and then they pull this friendship for such a long time that eventually most people don't even like admit they just like move on with their lives yeah. but a lot of people but like, friends that have like, sexual it, tension but don't do anything about it isn't there isn't there a line in this movie ke ladke aur ladki dost nahi ho sakte i think it's bullshit yeah. because again Jimmy again Shergill it's a guy Jimmy Shergill says it. Yeah, again, I think, and tell me if you agree with me that in a in a male and female, again, we're going to talk about like very cis hetero straight friendship between a man oh, and a sure. woman. Oh, sure, this is the most There hetero is... movie ever, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> if if a boy and a girl are, are friends, I feel like if given a chance, the boy would still sort of uh, you know get romantically entangled with with the girl. There are very depends on I, how I attractive I, the girl is. I, oh, you know I, 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 don't think, this. I don't think Oh I guys don't really have a, guys <laughs> I have a set on the same topic and I'm telling you I have I have I've experienced this life okay I was the ugly friend of a good looking guy and he never liked me until I became beautiful not beautiful but like better than <laughs> what I did before you glow up but uh, glow up yeah before my glow up so So there you go yeah. in order for a ma- But that's order for very a- common guys can be friends with women they're not attracted to that can happen but i haven't seen the like women, guys women be friends with women can also be friends women can yeah, also women be are friends. actually women much can be friends. Being friends see but that's huh. what yeah, i'm that's what i'm getting men that at. start like blurring that yeah. like i've seen yes, this happen yes. okay look i i'm not saying it's wrong because like i said a lot of feelings develop with familiarity the minute you become familiar yeah. with someone you start trusting them and you start liking them that happens very often it doesn't matter what relationship this is happens in all kinds of relationships all right because familiarity is everything that's why you end up falling for people that in your college or school or people that you're meeting every day that's arranged how it happens. marriage it's like online dating i mean <laughs> that stockholm syndrome but still <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah so, uh, so what, i feel thing, like this was one of those yeah. cases okay one thing that hasn't mm-hmm. aged well uh, at the airport when uh, rati agni hotri is saying that you need to respect women and saif ali khan says main karta hu na respect main aapki respect karta hu main indra gandhi ki respect karta hu i'm like today that would that would not flow today mother like he's yeah. that's his level of <laughs> indra gandhi yeah. and mother teresa uh, okay you have oh, to agree also, that the song yeah go ahead huh. also the part where he kisses her that, that was just oh, unacceptable i was just about to get don't you hate it Don't you hate it when you have to forcibly kiss women to shut them up, and then for some reason they don't oh like it? Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> no, 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 no! She didn't like it, but she forgave him for it. Like it didn't become a big deal in her life. In fact, okay, exactly. one of the feminist things that happened in this movie was when she met oh his god. girlfriend. <laughs> she met his girlfriend, and she told his girlfriend that this guy kissed me that day, and the girlfriend just no questions asked. believed her and was like you get out of my life <laughs> that was the oh, only thing thought. they didn't have they didn't fight they didn't have a like, she didn't be like oh, i can't believe you kissed no 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 she just dumped her boyfriend and said you must have done something wrong and moved on because she knew saif ali khan and who he was as a person in in fact you know the the framing so that song ladki kyun na jaane kyun it ends with them kiss him kissing her forcibly she gets pissed she slaps her and then the next scene they show is the both of them are on the plane again and rani mukherjee now is sitting separately from from saif ali khan and the yeah. focus there is how saif is feeling bad is feeling like a yeah. poor guy that oh main bichara mujhse baat bhi nahi kar rahi and i was like dude you try to forcibly Harass kiss her, her. tried to harass her did <laughs> <public>. yeah <laughs> but still can i no, tell no. you can i tell you uh, yeah. can i share a story with you this has yes. happened with me oh really and how did you react oh my god one second wait the whole in, like okay so in school okay in school yeah guys guys it's cool it's cool <laughs> so school so school mein thi main and ye movie nayi nayi aayi thi and uh, i remember tabhi mera bhi dynamic same aisa hi ek ladke ke sath tha theek hai uh, when did this movie come out i'm 2003 4 2003 uh, so four, four. i was 
हाँ नो सो सॉरी रनिस मूवी ये मूवी के टाइम पे नहीं थोड़ा मूवी के थोड़े साल बाद बट आई रिमेम्बर वी यूज टू सिंग द सॉन्ग अ लॉट लड़की क्यों न जाने के और मेरा ना ऐसा वो डायनामिक था एक लड़के के साथ कि आई यूज टू बी द नोटी गर्ल एंड आई यूज टू लाइक लाइक ही यूज टू अनॉय मी ऑलवेज मेरे बाल खींचता था एंड देन हम दोनों के हमेशा झगड़े होते थे क्लास में टीचर के सामने एंड देन दिस वन डे इन द इन द रिसेस वो हमारा रिसेस मतलब ब्रेक ब्रेक पीरियड तो वो टाइम पे कुछ तो झगड़ा हो रहा था और उसने मेरे बाल खींचे जोर से तो फिर मैंने उसको ऐसा मार दिया ऐसे एज ए नॉट गार पे बट यहाँ पे ऐसे हाथ को मारा मैंने और मैंने उसको बोला कि जाना रे बावट ऐसे मराठी में बोला एंड दिस गाय ही किस्ट मी ऑन माई चीक I don't know whether School to version. say or oh, or whether to be horrified. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where to start. Okay. How did it make you feel? Very bad. I was like, what the fuck? Okay, and so I slapped him. Okay, so it was. Him. It was. Yeah, oh, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I I slapped him only, and then I just left, and uh, then uh, then everybody started telling him all the boys that are they were worried, they were worried. What did you do? And I wasn't crying. But the thing is, I wasn't feeling bad, bad for myself. I was just like, what is this loser? You but everybody. Yeah, but everybody was feeling bad for me, and I was like, mm, so should I put up a show or should I just like cry for the sake of it? So I just had to like act upset for a day, and then after that, I didn't address it. <laughs> But what? Yeah. What? When was this, Urjita? Which year? This, I think, I was in my second or third grade, so I was Ooh, quite young. Oh, that that young? Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, so uh, it must have been what fifteen years to uh, to. When this happened? Second or third grade, me, how many years are there? I think eight or nine. Basically, eight, basically, been, basically yeah, I'm yeah, saying, yeah. I'm trying to tell you, have you tried to reconnect with this guy? Because uh, if the film teaches us anything, is that in fifteen <laughs> years, <laughs> you will be like, oh my god, <laughs> this guy was my soulmate, <laughs> and I slapped him. Okay, oh, do you guys man. at least agree the Stereo. song "Ladko"? Uh, "Ladki kyun na jaane kyun ladko si nahi hoti" has aged terribly. Yeah, yeah. Of course, Niv. <laughs> no it, doubt. It has aged. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it has aged terribly. But is But it? Is it what? still I... entertaining and fun? Look, I I stand. It's a banger. This. Yes, I, I think, agree. See the the lyrics. Yeah, have it's not a good. It's a, yeah. See, but the thing is, I don't I don't expect old movies to. to um be progressive because i do agree that movies should be a representation of its time if it's authentic and but again see 19 years ago it's not like we were in the stone ages there was still and there are lines in this movie like i think uh, you pointed out a lines uh, at some point which uh, where where urjita pointed out the writers knew what actually uh, yeah. is the correct stance was to take right so when uh, rani and saif are fighting in the bathroom she says at one point that unless a woman is ma- not ma- married she is not seen as uh, imp- as an important part of society so i'm like okay so they know that th- this is what the movie should have been about rani's character f- yeah. not fighting but at least opposing the fact that why the fuck do you do people just want me to be with someone in- if i have to be uh, someone so i think even by 2004 standards it's pretty re- regressive i would say that you yeah. have to be in yeah. your gender roles and the mm-hmm. song ladki kyun na jaane kyun i think has that same emotion is dealt so well in dil chahta hai with the song jaane kyun log pyar karte hain there yeah. also it's a male version of what he thinks love is and the female version but there's no a mai ladka hu isliye mere ko aisa lagta hai mai ladki hu isliye mai aisa nahi agree karti hu not so it's not it's the a... male and the female version explicitly they are trying to like you know bridge a gap between uh, the people who like love and the people who don't like love so Correct. it's not yeah, a male yeah, female yeah. thing yeah. Yeah, yeah that's not this not there's no gender in that song. Yeah, in this movie which comes 3 years after Dil Chahta Hai, they are like no, <laughs> I'm a, I'm a dude. <laughs> so I need to. Yeah, but So anyway. But we Yeah. I, I but I guess uh we've done this before even with the Dil Se and uh the she did that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean so I agree with time, you very very different I, like Correct. Treatment. So I agree with you that yes when me and Urjita watch old films we are not treat thinking or expecting them to be progressive but at least mm-hmm. like make sense whereas in this film i just thought they were just like they took the short hand of uh, ladka hai to lad- isliye hai aisa hai ladki hai to <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh by the way how cheesy yeah. and terrible was that animation horrible like they could have just done I... without it <laughs> that's true they could have done without it it really seems like a go ahead urjita ha huh. 
so yeah so even in that animation i had a point uh ki hmm. sorry wait i'll just tell you what my point was sure uh sure. ha huh. so in that animation uh, the first time they show both the uh, cartoons talking to each other usme the mm. girl is shown like uh, she is shown as to having uh, you know woman problems she is bothered about you know She's looking fat i have never seen a kid bother about being fat or skinny never so that kya no. moti lag rahi ho isme moti lag rahi ho ye wo and then the guys like ki nahi tum isme moti nahi lag rahi ho tum isme bahut moti lag rahe ho and then he just runs away yeah, very... the thing is hmm. the thing is Dude, the most that... problematic part yeah. about this yeah. is that the cartoons yeah. were kids and the kids, the yes. voice that was <laughs> yes. given were also by kids kids were voicing yeah, these characters yeah, yeah. but the dialogues and the treatment and the scenes were all adult stuff adult, like yeah. they were all right. this yeah yeah And yeah. I just want to know. They must do. have they tried. Have they, I, boundaries. I think they must have tried hiring kid writers for this, but then the kids must have written mitochondria as the powerhouse of cell. <laughs> <laughs> so it but, must not uh, have worked out. Here's some trivia about the animation. So uh, the person who does the voice, the kid who does the voice for the male cartoon, is Parzan Dastur, who was uh, the the guy in Kuch Kuch Hota Hai. Tusi Ja Rahe Ho, Tusi Na Jao. <laughs> that's uh, ha he does the male voice and the female uh, cartoon voice was was done by this girl called gayatri ayer who i couldn't find much online but uh, gayatri ayer there is one gayatri ayer who's married to kunal uh, kunal ganja wala so i don't know if this is the same gayatri ayer or not <laughs> but it might be i don't know she did the voice over for that um also uh, one thing that made me very nostalgic what are you thinking about urjita <laughs> You're like just because he's ma- she's married to Kunal Kanja, <laughs> wala. No, 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 I was just thinking that if uh, if that's a kid, and if uh, yeah. you know she went on to marry, because I think Kunal Kanja, wala was pretty much there in the scene around that time. So it means I was thinking age difference है उन दोनों में या फिर औरत ने लड़की की आवाज निकाली है या Kunal ने बच्ची से शादी की है like Kunal song चन्ना वेगर आजा was it about a kid? <laughs> I just went into that tangent, but uh, yeah. Wow. Uh, another two thousand four thing is back then one euro was uh, uh, equal to seventy five rupees, and I was very like, oh my god, good old days. <laughs> Now a dollar is equal to eighty uh, eighty rupees. Um, also, uh, I noticed that this film is full of brand placements and brand uh, this thing it goes uh, uh, integrations. Uh, here are some brands I could make out blatantly: NDTV, Times of India, Lay's. There's one point where the cartoons are eating Lay's. And did you guys notice that in the movie when they get married, there is, it freezes frame and it says Kodak moment with a heart around it. Like ah, that's yes. <laughs> yes, yes. The thing is, it didn't register as a brand placement because Kodak as a company doesn't exist anymore. So that's yeah. why I didn't like I didn't clock that. Like I could only clock the uh, Lays and Times of India. Uh, mm. But uh, oh man, yeah. But I mean, you need money Kodak? to make a movie. I get it. Sure, but like, don't do a promo in the middle of the film. <laughs> like, use it This, in subtle I, ways. But, but, jitne ke purane movies dekhe, I am pretty sure they did a much better job of doing brand placements. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, imagine if in Diwar, um, uh, Amitabh would have been would have been like, "Aaj mere paas bangla hai, gadi hai, bank balance hai," and uh, then Shashi Kapoor would be like, "Mere paas ma hai." For everything else, you got Mastercard. <laughs> Some things you can't buy. <laughs> For everything else, there is Mastercard. Okay, beach. Me, Diwar. Hey, Ambuja cement se bani hui. Okay, we'll take a quick break at this point. Uh, when we come back, we'll talk about the second half of the movie and how I wanted to like it, but there were problems there as well. So we'll take a quick break and we'll be right wow. back. Wow. We are only discussing the problems, sir, just because you didn't like it, Abbas. <laughs> No, uh, no. I'll give yeah. you all. Like, I'll give you all enough time to uh, talk about. It's like every time Nevi Dutta and I we try to talk about the positives. Abbas is like, okay, oh, but yeah. uh, ye movie kitni fakar hai. Uske baare mein baat kar le. Yeah. I feel like okay, I feel like in life, every time Abbas says something problematic, we should point it out. Like, see, this is you can't say this. Because <laughs> <laughs> me problematic. <laughs> okay, we have to take a break. We'll see you right after this. Hey everyone, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcast Network. 
On Just a Filmy Game Show, Antrix tests the film knowledge of the comedian and writer duo of Abhay Kumar and Akash Saravgi. They battle it out for the title of the biggest Bollywood diwana by singing Govinda songs, trying to guess movies by their reviews, and much more. On all things policy, Satya Sahu engages in a conversation with Professor Nafkanta Bhatt, previous chair of the Center for Non Sciences and Engineering at IISC Bangalore. He provides insight into what goes into creating a semiconductor chip in India. People, if you like our shows, then don't forget to spread the word. You know, telling your friends helps us a lot. And of course, don't forget to rate and review our shows on whatever platform you are listening to them. Follow us on these social media. We are at IBM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn. You can also find all our video shows on YouTube.com/IVMPodcasts. And finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor this week, SBI Life. Thank you so much for making this possible. And we're back on Hazri as well with Urjita and uh, Nivedita. We're talking about 2004's Hum Tum. Uh, so guys this movie was directed by Kunal Kohli uh, Kunal Kohli started off as a film critic actually he used to have a show on Zee TV where he used to pan all kinds of films but uh, when it came to his own film <laughs> he made this uh, yeah, the, the script writer along with Kunal Kohli is Siddharth Anand you know who Siddharth Anand is the director of Pathan who made you Pathan <laughs> <Yes>. yeah <laughs> So he gets a co-writing credit on this. It's a very in-house Yashraj film because uh, Kunal Kohli again was uh, like tapped in by Yashraj to do uh, the, the other film Mujhse Dosti Karoge, which if you've seen the romantics, the documentary Aditya Chopra talks about how that was like a disaster for them, which led them to do other things. Um, but uh, Urjita, you have some trivia for us. Uh, please go ahead. Yeah. Tell us what you have. So I basically have two questions. Uh, the first okay. one is an easy one. um but you have to answer it immediately okay dono mein se jo bhi answer karega jaldi wo jeet jayega okay uh okay. so oh. name three movies in which abhishek bachchan gets married to the female lead of the film but he himself is not the male lead three movies uh, i'll give you no. a hint hum tum hum tum oh, is okay. one of them yeah okay i've not watched it, a lot of uh, abhishek bachchan movies bunty or bubbly <laughs> i don't know Is that like <laughs> solid? Okay. I, I never watched that movie one. either. So you need two more. Uh, married to the leading lady, but he's not the hero. Uh, married or he's like the fiance. Married or fiance. Oh, fiance. Then we'll meet. No. <laughs> I don't know what Old that bachan. movie is. No, not both. बस इतना सा ख्वाब है. Yeah, कुछ भी बोल रहे हैं. It's a very mainstream. <laughs> it's a very mainstream. These two are very, very mainstream, mainstream movies. Movie. Yeah. Okay. I'm thinking of all the uh, Vishak Bachchan movies I've heard of. That's, That's what I mean. I'm thinking was... of all the. Uh, I can't think of any. Okay, so the first one is मैं प्रेम की दीवानी हूँ. Oh yes. <laughs> And oh. the second one is कभी अलविदा ना कहना. So, like in this oh. movie, also, yeah, technically, like all four of them are there on the poster, but the main leads are Shah Rukh Khan and Rani Mukherjee. So, I thought the main yeah. leads are Shah Rukh and Preeti Zinta. <coughs> What? Oh man! In no, Kabhi Alvida na kena. Yeah, no. their romance is the hot one. Yeah. What are Rani you saying? Rani Mukherjee and Shah Rukh Khan. Un dono ka romance is the hot one. Yeah, he has an oh, affair right. with Rani Mukherjee. Yeah. Okay, There's too Good. many movies, too many similar <laughs> need, movies with yeah, these know, characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to do, we need to do a Kabhi Alvi Dana Kena episode. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sorry. Okay. The, I have another question. Terrible. I forgot. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Another question. Yeah. So it's you will not get this. I know, but I'll be very surprised if you do. He in the song, yeah, uh, jo, <laughs> jo song hai na, ladki kyu na jaane kyu. So in that song, yeah. there is a throwaway line. Which I think is supposed to be a shade to the Bollywood housewives, you know, for all the Bollywood housewives. I'm not gonna get this. It's very, yeah. it's very niche, and you I. Mean, you mean the you yeah, mean the channel. Netflix show Bollywood wives? No, no, as in just all the Bolly, all the uh, housewives of ho- housewives of all the actors uh, who actors, are okay. now uh, doing this one particular profession, which is not exactly, uh, you know, profitable. In the song, you are saying there's a line. Yeah, I think it is a okay. shade uh, because it's not exactly. I don't exactly know. What's really. the line? Okay. प्यार प्यार से घर नहीं चलता तो इंटीरियर डिजाइनिंग का कोर्स क्यों नहीं कर लेते? Oh, wow. Uh, Urjit is referring yeah. to Gauri Khan, ladies and gentlemen. 
there are many Suzanne Khan, Gauri Khan, just many, many housewives. So I thought there's also another line. There's not housewives, Ishita. They're interior designers. Though they started off as housewives. <laughs> <laughs> See, when there's nothing to uh, do at home, you just design your house, and if you're a star's wife, you can call your you can pass off as an interior designer. My house is an interior, and I designed it, so I'm an interior designer, guys. <laughs> But I thought that line where uh, one of the cartoon characters says, "वो बोलते हैं ना हर successful आदमी के पीछे एक औरत होती है वो इसलिए क्योंकि औरत unsuccessful मर्दों के पीछे भागती ही नहीं है Okay, I want to talk about the second half of the film. So I Yeah so I uh, I I agree that the second half of this film is better than the first half because like you mentioned there's a bit of quote and quote maturity that uh, that is on display uh what did you guys think of Rishi Kapoor because I kept thinking I'm like I know some big actor plays his father but I couldn't remember and it was Rishi Kapoor and I was like oh this is love aajkal all over again yeah uh, there's also this this whole thing where uh, Rishi Kapoor uh, is introduced by singing a song mai shayar to nahi which is from Bobby Then he makes another Bobby reference when he meets, goes to meet Kiran Khair's character, who's Rani's mother, and she's like, "Call me Bobby." So, like, you will call me what? Bobby Dimple, which was the leading couple. Rishi and Dimple were the leading couple of Bobby. So, uh, places like that, I think Kunal Kohli's film critic wala brain comes out because he make, made those references and in jokes. Um, what did you guys? Oh, we got to talk about Isha Kopikar, guys. Remember Isha Kopikar from the two thousands? Yeah. Whenever I think of I... Isha Kopekar, I just think of that one uh, interview. Not an interview. It was more like a paparazzi Q and A. Just me. Uh, Don two, Don two K. As in Shahrukh Khan wali Don two K. It, it was called Don two or Don three. It was called Don two, no? Don two, yeah. Yeah, yeah Don two. Not, so not, Don two K. Not all see... films follow the Krish Krish chronology where two hota hi nahi hai. See the Krish ke baad Krish. So Don two K screening ke time pe Isha Kopekar was yeh bol rahi thi. Yeah, Don two will miss me. Because she was was not there in the the movie. <laughs> I, I, I have this thing was... to say about Rishi Kapoor. Oh, go ahead. No, I thought being done throughout the movie with Rani Mukherjee. because Rani Mukherjee was supposed to be this proper girl they introduced her to show that she's the opposite of Rani Mukherjee's character in the sense that she's outgoing and she's loud and you know she's like the strong girl who falls for this really quiet boy you know and then she Rani gets Mukherjee drunk like, at her own her wedding opposites attract yeah she gets drunk and then she starts saying nonsense you know like, like and for some yeah, reason bitch. like any any woman who uh, who was shown as uh, you know ki uh, if they had to show any woman in bollywood jo pti daru for some reason they can't handle their uh, liquor <laughs> none of them can handle yeah. their liquor ya yeah, to yeah. wo scene This... create karte hai ya to wo matlab you know uh, किसी और के साथ गलती से सेक्स कर लेते हैं जस्ट लाइक नो बडी वाई कैन नो बडी हैंडल देयर लिकर द अल्कोहल वी मेंशन दिस ऑन द कल हो नाउ एपिसोड आल्सो व्हिच श्री मी वर्मा वे द वेयर प्रीति सिंह आई थिंक हैज टू शॉट्स एंड शी इज लाइक वू आई वांट टू डांस ऑन द टेक्स अ क्लोज आई वांट टू डांस ऑन द स्ट्रिपर पोल या या बट ओके आई कांट से This is not yeah. just Bollywood. Hollywood used to do that too. Like one of my favorite True. movies called Ten Things I Hate About You. That's what happens. She has a little bit of alcohol and then she starts dancing on the table, and it's one of the most iconic yeah. scenes. <laughs> It happens in every every film industry. Every all women can't handle their alcohol. Okay, so I have a plot confusion here. So Saif tries to set up Jimmy Shergill with Rani Mukherjee. Uh, is is Jimmy his brother? No, friend, no, no. Right? He's a friend. Friend. He's a friend. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. does Rani Mukherjee not realize that she is being set up because at the marriage scene when Isha Kopikar gets drunk and she's like, oh, "I'd like to thank uh, Rani Mukherjee's character for bringing us together. Like, if we hadn't come there, why is that moment played as like a revelation where she gets like, 'Oh shit, were you setting me up with him all along? Wasn't that obvious?' Yeah, I, to us it was obvious. It, but they made it seem like Rani Mukherjee was too innocent and did not realize that that was happening. I mean, how? how because if you think about it Saif Palikan was doing this thing where like he would say oh you know let's go out for lunch and then she'd say okay and then he calls him and then she's like oh i'm busy i have somewhere else to go so you guys go for lunch and i'll go somewhere else 
Now anybody yeah. would be like, oh, he's trying to set me up. But exactly. Rani was like, oh, yeah. he actually has some place to go. <laughs> like she actually believes him in that scene. But this is a very popular <laughs> trope, no, in Bollywood movies that the female characters can get oblivious, uh, you know, for the plot. No, because uh, 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 girls are yeah. dumb, guys. Don't you know that? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I gotta say. Um, if you went to like interiors, girls are but, like with the ones that aren't overly exposed. They can get into sure. the lives of men very easily because yeah, yeah, you've never experienced it before. <laughs> so when I, that's what uh, Ujita was saying in the beginning. Like that's men know what to say because you just have to be nice for five minutes. Uh, that's all yeah. it takes for like women to be like, oh, okay, maybe this is a nice guy. <laughs> Are you calling us manipul manipulative, Nivedita? Is that what you're calling us? <laughs> Everybody yeah, other than you. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, how much salary do you think uh, Saif's car uh, character Karan makes as a Times of India cartoonist that he's getting to go to Paris? And his excuse to be in Paris is like, I'm writing a novel about Hamtum. And since Paris is the capital of love, I'm just here to like hang out and get vibes. About I have the answer to this. Yes. Generational. Well, did you see the house his yeah. mom had? And then his That's dad true. was some Vogue like photographer. Vogue photographer. In... Cover photographer. Yeah. yeah. And 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 they 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 separated. So they had the guilt of you know oh our our son does not have both. So then they just both started splurging on him because he's the only child in the house. It makes complete sense to me. Yeah, <laughs> but this is this I've seen in real life. Okay, like parents who can't give enough attention to their children, they just throw money at them, and this yeah. I've seen. Yeah. Wow. And which is I, I was like, that. my parents love me too much. Exactly, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> always there. They're all they're well. present all the time and emotionally available. Also, fucking that's why I never yeah. got any money. <laughs> Now I know if I get a time machine, what I would do? I would. Divorce my parents. <laughs> <laughs> But do they have I enough money fighting. to throw on you? <laughs> maybe they But would I... if then if they got divorced then maybe they would have then my mom would have gotten a job. <laughs> yeah, rather than being rather than being an interior designer. <laughs> okay. Wow, is your dad? I don't know, Amrish Puri or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay. This film was nominated for eight film fair awards. It won five out of them, including uh, one for Ani Mukherjee. Saif Ali Khan won for best comedic performance. Uh, Kunal Kohli won the best director award. This film won the best scene award, which is the that scene where they are imagining what their married life would be. And I remember this th that scene became like a huge deal. Like I know real life couples who would do that. You know, it would be like, yeah. uh, can you imagine if we had a house and we had a dog and Tommy and Chotu, whatever. If we had kids, I remember that 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 scene was everywhere. Uh, so this was a this was a hugely successful film. Um, lastly, so the la last thing I want to discuss is um, then finally they reconnect with each other. Uh, firstly, what did you guys think of Abhishek Bachchan? So his appearance in this was kept a secret. It was not revealed that he's going to be in the movie. He's introduced and he's then he then he's killed off like in the next instant. Uh, yeah. You you just you think he was just there to say that one airport scene with Saif where he's like, dude, you gotta like whatever. Women need us more than we need them. No, we we need women more than they need us. There's no other point of him being in the. Okay. So uh, a fresh woman is somebody who uh, uh, like a female character who is introduced just so that you can kill her off and the hero can find the purpose of his life. So like basically her death or her kidnapping is used as a. Uh, Plot like that is the whole plot. The fe the the female does not have any personality or life as such. So according to that logic, Abhishek Bachchan was the ice tray in this movie. Oh. I think I yeah, think he was introduced in... to like uh, make computer engineers look less bad because every movie they're like oh boring computer engineer and then Abhishek walks in and he's like but I'm hot and stable and all the girls like me. Like, <laughs> oh oh yeah that's what. So uh, while watching this movie, I was like. What is so attractive about Saif's character? And in my mind, I had already written him off, and I was like, "Yeah, but then maybe, but लड़की होकर teenagers को पसंद आता होगा, and इनको थोड़ी ना पता. पुराने Bollywood movies के characters में ऐसे भी पसंद नहीं ना. And then when I saw Abhishek Bachchan, I was like, "This is hot. 
<laughs> I love this guy, and I hope yeah. that the movie ends here. I really hope that the movie ends here. Rhea goes with him, and she lives happily ever after. Like, no wonder why, like Abhishek had to die for uh, you know their love story to happen. Because like there is no way, like you know the writers could have shown that mm-hmm. they both uh, got divorced. Why was divorce? Abhishek had what kind of life? So I feel like. But, but uh, this like, happens in love article also, right? Where. Uh, Deepika gets married and then she separates from Rahul uh, Khanna. But Rahul where, uh, Khanna's personality didn't show any. Like there was nothing attractive about Rahul, Rahul Khanna. Khanna. But Rahul Khanna is himself attractive. No. Not in this. Urjita really. Not in this. I don't I know what what movie is this. Love Aajkal. Uh, this is Love Aajkal. Do you know who Rahul Khanna is? I do know who Rahul Khanna is because everyone in my generation had a crush on that guy. <laughs> There you go. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, That's how okay. I know him. So, I know him as all the girls like this guy. I didn't know. I haven't watched any of his movies. I think I watched one movie, nineteen no. forty something. He was Earth. in. You have you seen Wake Up Sid? I've watched Wake Up Sid. Who is he in Wake Up yeah, Sid? Oh, was, the guy uh, who plays Conker Conker for boss. the jazz con. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> everybody remembers yeah. the jazz cons. <laughs> yeah, because everybody was like. <laughs> yeah. Hey man, I've taken girls to jazz concerts. Don't look down upon it. With some wow. some of us men are are men of culture, okay? Oh, then the girl the girl didn't call me back. That's a separate issue. But uh, <laughs> don't 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 dis jazz concerts. <laughs> but I speaking of computers, see, you take a girl to a jazz concert and then tell her that you know what? I like Bollywood music. Pasand hai. Just <laughs> so that you know, you can tell her that you don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. Uh. Um, The second half, I thought the uh, the whole uh, track of uh, Rishi Kapoor rekindling with uh, uh, Saif's mother again, I thought was very forced because I'm like, uh, like, no. if if you both are still together, uh, like still like each other, why did you get divorced in the first place? And yeah, and that the, was uh, on two occasions, reasons. very yeah. stupid yeah. reason. And there are two occasions in the movie where uh, Saif at one point and his mother at one point are just overhearing characters talking to each other. I'm like, please stop eavesdropping to know. What your partners and what your fathers think of you? Oh think God. of you. But Khanna is the Maria, na. मतलब before you know it, like uh, you know, Rani gives birth to a child, and the child is like, "Pet me, Rani, देते हैं ना सब सुन रहा था मैं कान लगा के." There was okay, no depth thing. to any of that. Uh, one of the things I noticed about Rishi Kapoor's character is like when he's in his introduction scene is him serenading some like European girls yeah, yeah. sitting yeah, next to yeah. him, like when in he's Hindi, in Hindi in Paris. Right? <laughs> and then later on, when he sees when Sanjay Khan meets that one girl with a dog in the thing in the shop, mm. and then he ends up mm. going out with her. Uh, Sanjay mm. Khan's dad, Rishi Kapoor, is there, and he sees mm. her. Uh, he sees him with that girl, and he goes, "Wow, if this girl is so pretty, I wonder how her mom would look like." Mom would, right? yeah. Yeah, and 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 that time I was thinking, wait a minute, when has age become a thing for you? Because you were just serenading somebody half your age. <laughs> yeah. Next to the piano, like it, it, there was so many conflicting things. Even in the like, they, the supporting characters in this movie I mean, had range, no, no importance. For some men, yeah. it is oh, like, was Kesi bhi chalenge aur ach chahiye, so maybe Rishi is like that. <laughs> yeah. No, but the Age's weirdest no thing is how quickly his wife just accepted. But that's what I'm saying, right? Although it's yeah. so problematic, I have seen this stuff play out in real life. I've seen it happen, like men just going to like doing horrible things and then going and apologizing to the girl they did hor- horrible things to, and the girl just accepting. Because I feel like a lot of women, especially at that time, were so afraid to go back into the world. Like it's called the abundance mindset, apparently in dating. Be- oh. Everybody is supposed to have the abundance mindset. You have to apparently think that there are more people outside for you. Which is when you can have a healthy relationship. So even if you break up, you won't be thinking, "Oh, I have to be. I, there's no one else for me. This is the only person for me." But if you have the abundance mindset, you think, "Oh, but there are so many other people. I, I'll find someone." You know, you're more positive about it. But most women, especially in India, do not have it because of the culture. Like we're culturally trained to not think that we have a lot of people out there. Correct. So yeah, when we yeah. find somebody that we like, we just stick to them, no matter what horrible thing they do to us. In our minds, we've been conditioned to think that we have to stay with them. Yeah, and our best so generation, like 
sorry like men, our men, current generation I'm, is also not I'm, doing any good no no wait, let me finish this sorry <laughs> our con- current generation <laughs> is not helping na with this mindset ab yeah, hamari generation yeah. bhi abundance mindset ko ko ye kar rahi hai dur kare because like what are हमारी जनरेशन की वुमेन हमको क्या बोल रही है कि ओ एक लड़के को सुधारने में इतना टाइम लग जाता है कि अब नया कहाँ से ढूंढे सो इट्स लाइक वी आर ऑल्सो नॉट हेल्पिंग इच अदर आउट इन दिस केस आई फील लाइक अल्दी रिलेशनशिप इज वेल यू बोथ नो दैट यू कैन फाइंड सम वन एल्स बट यू स्टिल आर विथ ईच अदर कैन आई जस्ट से हियरिंग बोथ ऑफ यू चूज इच इट्स इट्स वेरी रियश्योरिंग it's very reassuring for me as a man to tell other men that guys we can just continue being assholes because women will forgive us so thanks for that uh, thanks for that right? nobody i think the only way that. is yeah nobody, nobody said anything that about that. forgiving i thought he just gets that's what niv just said that women forgive i men said at the time in 2004 them. with our oh. mom's generation and stuff that's what used to happen just one last thing i wanted to clarify so uh, before the climax and uh, no pun intended but we see them uh, sleeping together in the hut and then <laughs> and then they are at jimmy shergill's marriage where uh, uh, saif bumps into rani outside and he's like hum saath mein aane wale the na and then he says we should get married and we see rani getting a little off put by that comment so what is that supposed to imply is is What's rani that? devastated did he is no. she devastated cuz he ghosted her or All through the movie, she's been accusing Saif that you just want to sleep with. The girls just need one thing. The girls just keep no, accusing so him. And now, after that... sleeping, when he's like, after sleeping with her, he's like, we should get married. Why is she upset? So she is. I'll tell you. I'll tell you. She is upset because she could see it in his eyes that he's not saying it out of love. Like an actual. Okay. If a guy genuinely loved you, why would he say we should get married? It should be. No, no. It he's, it's it's even worse. He's saying it out of guilt. Yeah, he and she did something wrong. Yeah, yeah. He said it. He said, "Mujh se galti ho gayi." He said it. <laughs> he was, yeah. she was expecting expecting him to be like, "Oh, you know, yesterday was nice and stuff." And he goes and is like, "Oh, it was terrible. Like, it shouldn't have happened." The mujh se galti ho gayi. She's like, "No, no." She was ready to say, "Okay, no worry, baby. We will or we will achieve. 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 We will um okay i think uh, uh i just two things kiran khair is again once again playing a typical punjabi mom but i think she's very funny in this film uh, there's this sure. one line she says in uh, when she's in paris uh, and she says ke inki zuban hai lagta hai phus phus kar rahe hain ek dusre ke kaan mein i thought that was very funny <laughs> i don't know why they are roasting french people but uh, yeah like thought, she's I, the only person with a great comic timing in this movie I feel like Correct. only yeah. she has good comic timing, and I like one of her so funny. Uska ye dialogue. So, uh, like, so f- how to tell that your husband is dead without telling your husband is dead? Oh, आप अपने husband से separated हो? मैं भी. पर हमारा life or death का matter है. That's too funny. It was. Yeah, it was yeah. a really good. Yeah, that was great. ऐसे कौन बताता है? क्या? She was too chill I... throughout the movie. She was chill. Yeah, I also thought that one guy at the shardi ka mandap who wants to bring moti chur ke laddu was funny. Yeah. And then I looked yeah. up his I looked up his IMDb credits and apparently he is in Black Friday and Gangs of Wasseypur also. Or oh. moti chur ke laddu. Yeah, yeah, that guy. <laughs> Impactful. So, yeah. Any other any other points you really guys want to pick up, guys? Uh, So first of all, uh, this movie they I really love how I I watched it I rewatched this trailer because I remember watching its trailer as a child. So in the trailer also I feel like it's a nice ploy because they trick you into believing that this is a rom com, but this is nowhere close to yeah. a rom com. I feel Kalhona who had more jokes than this movie. Uh, so this the, movie I would say like, the jokes the the jokes haven't aged well. They're not funny anymore. But it this still very much is a romantic comedy, isn't it? No. It's as romantic comedy as an Indian film can be. Is how I think. Yeah. We have had actual ro- romantic. Ajab prem ki gajab kani. Like if you wait oh, uh, on that scale. Oh please. Arjita. It's a romantic. Ajab, you might not like it, but it's a romantic Ajab. comedy. It's a bad movie. <laughs> no, it's, I think Again, it's that funny. that movie that movie tries to be more crazy and funny than romantic. Like hey, I mean. 
if you if you boil it down dil wale dulhaniya le jayenge i was about to say that if you keep the if i i would say it is because the first half is very much the zurich part of it yeah the zurich part of it is all romantic comedy when he comes yeah. back to punjab and all then it's, it takes a different turn but uh, yeah but that's just say, bollywood bollywood does this all the time govinda's yeah. movies were yeah. all rom coms <laughs> yeah like you know, actually bollywood has rom coms yaar aisa mat karo ruko of course no, it does like, yeah salam yeah, i mean salam namaste tell me a rom com that's, that's like comedy. throughout a rom com and not like the first half is a rom com the second half is dra- drama uh, because that's oh, how most main, uh, because ek, indians love drama we love it we love it ek main aur ek tu the movie with imran khan and kareena kapoor ek aur ek tu usme bhi drama jaane tu ya jaane tu ya jaane na is a romantic comedy but jaane tu ya jaane na is not out and out aise funny funny i feel ajab ke parenge gajab khan even though but, you don't find it funny but like the motive and everything is there in ajab prem ke gajab khan have you if seen it's out If it's out and out funny, then it's a comedy film. Like Andaz Apna Apna is a comedy film, even though it has traces of romance in it. Yeah. There's no one character actively pursuing a woman. But that's or, fine. Yeah, Having drama around. in a rom com is even yeah. western. Even in western yeah. rom coms, yeah. there's a lot of drama in a rom com. Exactly. It just has yeah, elements yeah. of comedy in it. That's all. Yeah. yeah But yeah. because yeah, romance is very cheesy, if you don't add. Because you know what, Tanu Eats Manu is also a romantic comedy. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Even though it has a lead actress who might not be funny. Oh my god, all of Shah Rukh Khan's movies like <laughs> in the 90s were rom-coms. I feel yeah. like Indicate, Yes Boss. Uh, Bacha, Bacha, Bacha. Bacha. Bacha is a comedy. Uh, no, Bacha. Bacha is a comedy. Parody yeah. slash comedy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not Bacha. Yeah, cool. Let's do the has it aged well scale. Uh, Niv, do you know we've updated the scale because of your episode of Judai? No way. Yeah, love it. So we used to do the rewatchability scale, but on that episode, you said just because something hasn't aged well does not mean I would not want to watch it again. So then mm. I was like, fair enough. So now we have a has it aged well scale uh, from one mm-hmm. to ten. The 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 concept is basically the same. One is it was a product of its time and. you didn't find much redeeming factors and 10 being that oh my god i every time i watch it i find something new so on a scale of 1 to 10 where would you place hum tum i give it a 5 okay bang and will you go. watch it will you watch it again no <laughs> <laughs> okay oh okay the way you defended the movie i thought you'd score it higher but cool 5 is 5 is decent uh, no so uh, thing is that you were only finding the negatives in it that is why we had to keep yeah. bringing you back but if this Because was like an <laughs> optimum discussion then maybe yeah and also wow like okay the, <laughs> i honestly i just like it was a breezy film like it, it just went through i didn't it nothing offended me nothing got me riled up yeah that way like, i think it's a good film like i'll give it a 6 only Give one more yeah. point. Otherwise, <laughs> it didn't piss me off. Yeah, like I really like the fact that Rani is doesn't have to do any work to improve Seth. <laughs> it is Seth who is like you know what, up to up improve or I just because he's around Rani. I like how he's getting mature just to be with Rani in a way. No, he's just growing up. He's just growing, he's growing up. up. So he's yeah, growing, he's he's just becoming a yeah. better person. I guess I don't know. It has nothing to do with. Her. I really do think they were both individuals throughout the movie. Like I didn't feel any like. Because they met after so many years, every single time they just were fond of each other. Is all. Hmm. Okay. Or just talk about it. Or a hazard age well scale. Sure. Hmm. I think I would give it a six, maybe. Hmm. Wow. Both of you have given it a six, more than fifty percent. Would you watch it again? Uh, depends on who I'm watching it with. But. Uh, oh. So, in what scenario would you watch it again? Think she wanted to teach a boy a lesson. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think. But dude, that's okay. okay. I will. Haan, I, will I, I might watch it once more, like maybe because I feel okay. like I okay. might have missed a few points here and there. Ah, uh, which I will need to look at them again. But uh, yeah, I think six is fine. Okay. 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 Fine. Okay. 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 Okay.
John, yeah, this this is like what Stephanie Card was doing throughout the movie. <laughs> so then, no, but I like that. Then, like, if you portray me, how Abbas hated I'm the movie because he could see himself in self. Self, you know, you know, people saying. who are exactly like you. I'm. This is. I'm I, telling yeah. you, this is just how dudes are. Like, if Stephanie Card is almost every dude around. <laughs> And I one more point I gave it because. <laughs> but I mean I don't know I think if this film was made today you're right Nevedita the basic uh, structure of it might be the same like I'm not saying we'll we're we've radically improved on the gender stereotypes but I still think it would not be as blatant as it is as it was back then. <laughs> Come from the south. Have you seen? The films in the south, like yeah. that Kabir. What, what is that? Kabir, Kabir Singh, Arjun Reddy. Ar- Arjun, yeah. Reddy. Yeah. Arjun Reddy is a South Indian film, right? They defended that so hard in that film companion interview, where he was like, "I mean, if you're yeah. in love and you're passionate, things like this are gonna happen. Like you're gonna slap the girl mm. you love mm. once in a while. It's just passion." It's, oh, who are we to judge is love, yar? That is a. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm saying that's how a lot of guys. So many people agreed with that. You saw how popular that film was. Yeah, Somehow, yeah, yeah. some kind of like abuse kink that like a lot of people have that they like that they like to watch um, in a in a film, and that's what, Dude, I, that's what I'm saying. I I'm saying. kid you not. This is a true story. So I was working for Popex so at that time, and I had written a review for that. The ten thoughts I had while watching Kabir Singh. So it went very well. It was very popular. Was that? And uh, then I got a mail. With 15 pointers from a guy stating why Kabir Singh was the perfect lover, and one of the points wow. I kid you not, wow. one I I never forget this point. His point was that Kabir was very protective and he was uh, so helpful. Do you remember the scene where wh- whenever Kabir Singh would meet her, he would he would say, "Apna bag do," just so that she doesn't have to carry it. <laughs> this just shows how much he cared about her. Give me a bag so I can whip you on your back. Dude, uh, like at least this Hamtum, right? It there were like redeeming qualities in it because Rani Mukherjee's character was at least she had some integrity to an extent. Like she said the right, right. things sometimes, and you know, the, right. like even Saif Ali Khan, he wasn't an abusive man. He was an idiot, but he wasn't an right. abusive person. Nowadays, there yeah. are films where the 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 lead man is straight up abusive, and it passes. It passes as oh, he just loves the girl, and it's not even in a right. comedy. They're usually a drama. So, man, I just thought this was a very breezy film. It didn't like, it didn't, okay. it it okay. wasn't meant to be taken very seriously. I'm guessing sure. it's just like you know one of okay. those. Okay. Uh, ha. Huh, the other point I get. Oh, Niv is frozen again. <laughs> She's about to say Chutia. Can you see? <laughs> Shh. Are you back, Niv? I oh, am. Yeah. Okay, let's wrap this up. Uh, the one extra point I gave is because I thought uh, Rishi Kapoor's entry was uh, was pretty well mm-hmm. done. The Shyam To Nahi song. Uh, so yeah, three on ten from me. Will I watch it again? Maybe some years later, purely purely for nostalgia's sake, I might watch it again. Otherwise, I don't really see much uh, redeeming factor here. But yeah, those were our uh, uh, hazard age well uh, ratings. Uh, I forgot to mention Jay Sean did the uh, title song Hum Tum. He was really big at that point. Uh, so uh, that was uh, that by him. Jatin Lalit gave the music. I think music for the most part has aged kind of well. Uh, but yeah, the lyrics are the problem. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was our hazard age well rating. Uh, we shall now do the alternate ending. So let's go into the alternate endings and see what we have for Hum Tum. <laughs> So this is the alternate ending segment where we think up uh, an alternate ending to the movie we discussed, or we pitch a sequel. So this time we are discussing Hum Tum. So Urjita, do you have an alternate ending? Firstly, come back in frame. <laughs> do you have an alternate ending for Hum Tum? Abhishek Bachchan comes back from the dead, <laughs> and as a zombie. And he claims, zombie. yeah, no, not as a zombie, as a uh, as an Ekta Kapoor character. That I am dead and I am coming back. So my full yeah, version of the movie. जिमी शेरगिल का नाम भी मिहिर था इस पिक्चर में या सी या या सो यू सी यू 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 मीन टू से ही फेक फेक्ड हिज ओन डेथ टू सी इफ इफ रानी वुड गो बैक टू सेल्फ 
Hey, remember, because uh, Seth had mentioned, uh, Seth, no, sorry, Abhishek Bachchan had mentioned that. Uh, so, uh, okay, I was checking that you come back to the back. So, this was all a ploy just to check. Like Abhishek was waiting for Seth to propose to us so that he can go. Ah, I knew you always wanted my wife's pussy. So, but uh, very but, yeah. abusive, <laughs> but <laughs> great. Nice, Niv. <laughs> do you have an alternate ending? Yeah, the abundance mindset is applied. Rani Mukherjee goes back to Paris because, like, Sefa Dekan felt guilty, and then she finds a beautiful French man and settles down with him. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> that's Paris. not bad. <laughs> yeah, that should have been the ending of English to English. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my alternate ending is I actually would like to pitch a sequel where I would explore the post-marriage life of these two characters. and uh, i would show them like so they don't they don't get along like the their first few honeymoon period is all well and good and now yeah. saev's character is feeling the same issues with his wife that rishi kapoor's character did and they ah. they separated so yeah. then now it would be like oh maybe there is something there there is g- generational trauma or whatever where yeah. uh, my father couldn't address the thing so i am also struggling in doing that uh, it would be call uh, hum Two M Hum Two, get it? Because it's a sequel, guys. It's Hum. Okay, <laughs> I have explained it. <laughs> hum Two Two sounds a little different. So Hum Two, get it, guys? That was a joke. Hum okay, two anyway. M. No, okay. Hum Two M. Yes, thank you. Yeah, uh, Hum Two M <laughs> will be my sequel. So no uh, possibility yeah, that... for a yeah, no possibility for a third installment then. There can be. So, are you guys aware of the Before Midnight, Before Sunset, Before Sunrise trilogy? Yeah. So uh, that is precisely that. Before Sunrise is them meeting as young lovers. Then Before Sunset is them reconnecting. And then Before Midnight is them getting together but finding out maybe we weren't meant for each other. Okay, Urjita yeah. is yawning, which means it's time to wrap up no. the show. <laughs> that was our episode this week. <laughs> uh, I've, thank you I've closed all the windows and that's why there's no air in are my mummy ka ha theo na bazra theo ja to so tell you mummy if you don't tell me i should ask mom that's a dog hello please keep this in <laughs> don't cut this Amazing. out please <laughs> love it uh, uh, rjita's mom came to wake her up is like hey, chal show kar rahi hai but uh, yeah cute, that was our episode cute. for this week thank you thank you so much for sticking Whoa. around till the end uh we will we don't know when we'll be back in the studios but we'll keep you updated on this but uh before we wrap up niv anything you want to plug where can people find you anything you want to say you, you can, can find me on instagram now. at niv.prakasam uh, and uh twitter actually don't follow me on twitter or youtube also <laughs> niv.prakasam <laughs> are you are you on threads nivedita i'm not yet i should right i should get on no are you nobody's on, on nobody's active on threads anymore as far as i oh, know oh okay Yeah, they all joined the first day out of curiosity. Now they've all gone quiet. Apparently, if you <laughs> dis- if you if you disable your threads, your Instagram also gets disabled. Is that true? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes. everybody oh, was panicking for some reason because it's like I mean, why you can just like make your account private if you don't want anybody. I'm staying inactive or something. Yeah, and just delete <laughs> yeah. all your. I threads. saw, I saw this <laughs> yeah. one meme. Uh, I saw this one meme where Mark Zuckerberg ka photo hai and the text says. Uh, If you deactivate your threads, your Instagram will also be deleted, and you will die. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Urjita, anything you want to plug? Threads, your life will be deleted. Uh, life will be but, deleted. But uh, ha, huh. anything, anything I want to plug. I want to plug my YouTube channel. You guys can uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, I have uploaded uh, a stand-up video, uh, and uh, I'm regularly upload, regularly uploading shorts actually, and I'm planning to upload more reels, stand-up reels. So yeah, and uh, you can follow me on Instagram at the rate Urjita Vani. Cool. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm Abbas Momin on Twitter. Abbas Momin eighty eight on Instagram. If you go to my Instagram page, you'll also see my Threads ka number, uh, and you can click on that, and it'll redirect you to Threads. Uh, I just want to make an appeal for to all the people watching. Please subscribe to our channel. We are at nine thousand six hundred something. So we'd love wow. to reach ten thousand uh, very soon. So please subscribe, share this uh, show and this channel with whoever you think will enjoy it. And yeah that brings us to the end of this week's episode my name is Abbas we'll see you all next week with a new movie and a new panelist and a new setting maybe i don't know <laughs> we'll see you all next week bye bye i v m